Hey guys, and another time. Now we're talking about artifacts. Now with the new DLC, there have been four new artifacts. The first one is the Satchel of Elixirs. The second one is the Satchel of Snacks. The third one is the Eye of the Guardian. And the fourth one is the Harpoon Quiver. Now all of these artifacts are at least somehow new and introduce some new mechanics to the game in some way or shape. So let's get started. Let's start first with the one that I think is one of the more useful ones. It's the Satchel of Elixirs. It has a 30 second cooldown and whenever you use it, it generates two random potions. Um, it can produce the Shadow Brew, the Strength Potion or the Swiftness Potion it is I think. The one that makes you walk fast. So. Um, with a 30 second cooldown, you can keep up the strength buff the whole time, the shadow form not that consistent, and the speed potion obviously also not. But if you use some enchantments that reduce the cooldown of your artifacts, well then you definitely can. And the same goes for the satchel of snacks, that has a 20 second cooldown and it regenerates some food. And this is probably the weakest one of all the new artifacts, like this is it's, it's giving an apple every 20 seconds basically, so uh, I don't I don't really think that this one is going to hit it. For the third one we have the Eye of the Guardian. And this one is kind of like the beacon um, in the way that it shoots a beam at the way you're facing. But when you use the Eye of the Guardian it basically just shows you a line of where it will go and you can turn around pretty fast. But as soon as it actually has done its charging up and it starts doing damage, then you can't turn around that quickly anymore. But the damage is quite good. Let's just have a look at this. So you can see the damage is quite good. Um, you can't interrupt it again after you started it, like it just goes on. And as you can see, the turn ratio is pretty bad. But before, during this mode, you can turn pretty fast and then it goes back to really slow. So this is kind of like a trap uh, artifact in my opinion, because it really locks you down and you're probably going to die when using this. But it is still more useful than getting a bread every 20 seconds. And for the last one, it is the Harpoon Quiver. And what that does, it changes your arrows into harpoons. And yeah, harpoons always pierce the target. No matter if you charge the arrow or not, they always pierce. And of course, you already know it, they fly underwater just as you would expect of them. And that makes them pretty useful in the new DLC. Um, I can imagine my Lightning Archer build, for example, to work just with exactly that, with no issues. Um, yep, that could be a thing. And that is already everything for this video. So this one is a short one again. But as you guys know, I just want to quickly cover everything for you and inform you about everything that is relevant so you guys can enjoy the DLC. 